Hello and welcome. It's Seth here from Blades and Bites. Today, we're premiering our first episode of my homebrew Fallout-styled RPG, Fallout Prisoners of the New World. Our four Wasteland Wanderers find themselves in a bit of a pickle, trapped in Tibbet's penitentiary during a cannibal invasion. But can they find a way out? And if you haven't already, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. Not only does this help support our channel, but it allows us to create more of the videos you love to see. And, best of all, it's 100% free. Now, with that out of the way, let's get into it. The four of you find yourselves locked away in prison cells, captured by the Tibbet's robot, by the Tibbet's robot security. None of you really know how long you've been here, just that you have not seen the outside world in what feels like weeks. You have not seen each other, or really anyone, as you spend all of your time locked in a cell, except when the robot guards gas you and come and take you away. You don't know what they do while you're unconscious, but you fear the visions that you have of operating rooms. But today's something's different. The robots have not come. And instead, you hear distant sounds. You hear gunfire. And suddenly, you hear an explosion. The explosion rings out through your prison cell block, rocking the entire room. As your cells shake, you, f you find the effects of the drugs that they have been injecting you with and gassing you with finally begin to wear off and your mind's clear. You hear the sounds of falling rubble and shattering glass and you begin to hear the alarm, a security alarm wailing in a robotic voice calling out that security protocols are now in effect and for all prisoners to remain in their cells. Phil, Yoko, from beside you, you hear a loud, a much louder explosion, an echoing explosion that tears through the cell beside yours and partially tears through yours. Suddenly there's rocks and rubble and debris flying everywhere, and you hear the sound of death. From outside your cell door, you hear the sound of a machine activating and then you hear machine gun fire. After the machine gun fades, it's you all hear the sound of your cell doors unlocking. I was almost one meter into my hole. Well, my tunnel that I had been digging. Where are I you now? I almost reached one meter and roughly the same width as my arm. Very oh, he's going to be out of here in no time. So, all of you find yourselves in your cells. Except for Phil, who also... Yoko, who also finds that his cell has been partially cave, caved in. With the wall kind of exploded inwards. Ooh, Yoko. I'm going to poke my head out the door. Ben, you poke your head out the door and you see a hallway stretching in either direction. And you see what looks like a sparking little robot hovering just off the, the ground. Yoko, as you move through the rubble, you find that it's about ankle high. You see a, bl a blasted corpse beside a gurney, what was probably the cell's occupant. And then you see that someone crawled through the rubble while it was still falling. They're wearing what looks like combat armor, and they wield a, a big club, but their chest has been ripped open from bullets. And they're lying on the ground, apparently dead. Bullets from the guy that is just outside the cell? Mm-hmm. Can the guy outside the cell see me? It looks to be an unautomated security turret, and the turret is rotating, but it's not actually can see you, but it doesn't seem to be terribly interested. And you suddenly okay. realize that 
you're having a slightly hard time swallowing and you reach around your neck and you find that there's something trapped there. Some sort of larger belt-like device with a with something electrical on it. Meanwhile... Can I attempt to roll to identify what it is before? Yeah. You can make an intelligence check. Meanwhile, Ryan and Jimmy, you two notice that you don't recall having a pit boy, but on each of your arms you find that you're wearing a pit boy. But it's not like a fancy one from a um from a um from a vault. It looks a lot more basic and simple, and it's locked on your arms. There's a little keyhole and everything. And Yoko, as you reach around your neck, you f you realize that you're wearing wrapped around your neck a similar pit boy. Oh, ain't that the darndest thing? I'm going to walk up to the sparking eyebot. Does it look like it's um one that's been used for security around the prison so far, or? Yeah, it looks like a, a, okay. a prison security bot. It's even marked on the, the side, Tibbet's prison. As you guys are just the getting... The I'm having, does it give me the facility to hack? Uh, no. No, bugger. The prison boys cannot hack. You will find a list of things that it can do, but pr uh, hacking is not one of them. As you guys um, are are just tr are just getting used to your legs and walking around, you hear from your pit boys the radio activate, and you hear a voice start crackling through it, at which. I did set up my voice mod, but I set it up on my playing desktop, not my recording desktop, so it's not actually set up for Discord this time, so I am sorry. But next time I will have okay. all, my, all, my, all my voice filters. That's okay. Coming through, the, the radio is a older, w older wizened man's voice. Yes. Hello! Hello! Can you hear me? Is there, please tell me that, yours, that you, anyone can hear me. Can, does this thing come with a transmit function? <gasps> There's someone there. Hello, I am I am Doctor Van Buren. Ah, finally, someone sensible, willing to answer me. What's your name, sir? Uh, they call me Jimmy. Jimmy, let me see. Ah, uh, yes, and he, and all of you, pit boys, flash momentarily. All of your pit boys flash as they show a a image of of Jimmy Ryder. Ah, good. I've pulled up your penitentiary records. Ah, a gunslinger, a ranger. Perfect. You're exactly what I need. Oh, Jimmy, look. I don't have much time because I don't know how long I can hack into the prison's network before the AI locks me out again. But look, I need you to organize with your cell block. You guys got to get, you guys need to, need to get out. I don't want to alarm you, but the prison is under attack by a bunch of cannibals. Well, that won't be the un most unusual thing I've heard this week. Perfect. Glad to hear it. Now, um, I would recommend that you, um, that you all, um, l um, that you, uh, figure out who else is there with you and see if you've, uh, if any of them can also hear me because, as I said, I don't have much time and time is kind of, a, kind of, un of the essence. Can anyone else well, hear well, me well. here? Out of character, could we hear Jimmy's conversation as well? Yes. All of us? Mm -hmm. Yeah, you've okay. all been hearing this. Why are these people talking in my head? <laughs> it's coming from your pit boy. Why are these people talking in my head? <laughs> okay. 
Uh, so for you, Yoko, the voices are coming from your neck, and they're really annoying. Mm. Who are these people? Who am I? I am Dr. Van Buren. Who are you, sir? Why is my neck talking? Your, your neck, wait, your neck is talking? Hold on. Oh, oh, you're a super mutant. <sighs> and he shares with all of you. Ah, Yoko, Yoko, can you hear me? This is the voice of Dr. Van Buren. You, um, you've been captured in a prison and you're being held and that device on your neck is... I can get it off, but you have... If you, but, but if you help me, I can help you shut up the voices. How's that? I have voices in my head already. Well, that's not good. That's really not, not good. Any, um, Jimmy, I would be careful with this one. You don't have to tell me twice, Doc. Right. Mm. Now what look. What do you want me to do? I need you all to get out of this prison and then come rescue me. Once, you res once you've come to rescue me, I can get those prison boys off of you and then you can be completely free. How does that sound? Hmm. That makes the voices stop. The voices will stop, yes. I promise, Yoko. Yoko. You said you're a doctor, right? I am a pr pr professor and a doctor, yes. And who is this? Who's talking? Well, that means you. That means you've got some cameras. Oh dear. Uh, Jimmy, who's talking? You should know my head voice. Jimmy, we've talked I before. It's Ryan. I oh. Let me see. Of the five hundred prisoners at this prison, let's see. Uh, Ryan. There's no Ryan's with a Y. Oh, let me guess. You're one of those weird ones. Ah, yes, Ryan O'Donnell. M minor infla- uh, uh, Another ranger, good, but... You sound like a druggie. Alright. Um, Jimmy, so far you sound to be the most uh, intelligent and sane one. How about, uh, we get you out of there, hmm? That sounds like a good plan for me. Alright. Um... So, here's the situation. You guys are on cell block 13, which is on the 13th level of the Tibbetts prison, so you're pretty high up. The elevators are currently locked down, as are most of the primary rooms, as there's an army of about 400 cannibals outside trying to, to get in. So, here's what I recommend. You guys try to see what you can get from your, your, your level, um, see if you can get your things out of the armory. And uh, then I recommend that you get out before the cannibals reach you. How does that sound? That does sound like a good plan to me. Good. Now, if if you are trying to reach me and you can't, it's because the uh, the 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 warden has locked me out of the radio channels, and I'm trying to uh, get back in. Now. I need you all to exit together, because if the members of a cell block split up, then those little pit boys explode. As in, if one right. of you leaves and the rest are stuck in here. So if one of you dies, drag their arm out with the pit boy Or neck. Alright? Good. Now, um... Uh, you will probably have to to bypass some of the locked doors as everything's sealed down because of the uh, breaches, but I'm sure you can work that out. But I do recommend that, and then suddenly there's a bunch of static as he gets cut off. Well. Ain't that the darndest thing. It looks like I've got stuff to do if I want to get out of here. Um, so this, uh, uh, what is it, child, uh, child of the machine, sorry, they're cannibals? Yes. And this one had a, a weapon somewhere on the ground? Mm-hmm. What was the weapon? He has a club. 
club. A club is better than nothing. I'll take the club. Oh, do I have my my equipment at all? No. Okay. As the doctor said, oh. it is being held in the armor. Right, right, right. Of course. Okay. Uh, well, I'll take the club off this guy, and uh, I can try and dig my way out of this hole in the wall, right? If you want to. I can try and use the club to dig my way out. All right. But is that going to count as me leaving the other people behind? Or? If you leave w without them, yes. Right, okay. As, as you start doing that, your pit boys crackle again. Ah! Damn. Odysseus. All right. So, again, I don't have much, much time, but... I would recommend that if you find any breaches in the walls that you take those out as they are your best exits. As going down the elevator shaft would be trouble. Otherwise you might be able to access the sewers if you go through the lavatories. But I'm sure you can work that all out. You, you, you all seem pretty capable. I've pulled up the entire block's records and um, is there a is there a uh, a lieutenant John there? No oh, wait, no. The, the readout says he's he's dead. Um, there's an Ivy. Is there a Miss Ivy? Ivy there? Miss I'm Ivy, here. can you hear me? <gasps> Good. All right. So you're not dead. Perfect. The Miss Ivy for B and E. Perfect. All right. I su 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 suggest you let Miss Ivy be in charge of getting you all out, because apparently she has a record of breaking in and out of places. And well, pretty, well, used to be pretty good until I end up in here. Of course. Um, no, Yoko and Ivy, your companions are also being held in the armory, so if you want them to not die here, I recommend that you, that you get them before you leave. Now, I'm running out of radio channels to communicate with you, so if, uh, if you have any questions, now is your time to ask them. Anyone? You're all good? All good. <laughs> Who exactly are you? Though? Exactly I'm am I? This. I am Dr. Van Buren. I'm an NCR yeah. scientist and I am currently trapped in the Boulder Dome Science Research Lab uh, from uh, as we are under siege by another batch of these cannibals. That's why I'm trying to find help and the only place that has connection to our science lab is this accursed prison so first you guys put us in prison now you expect us to I save didn't your... put you in prison that was the politicians and the bureaucrats and I am not specifically NCR it's a very recent thing and the reason I'm helping you is because I believe that we should not have abandoned you all to be taken by the by Odysseus as well, that is that's... Fair very un unfair. Now, yes, so if you guys can get out and rescue me, I will rescue you and then clear you of all charges if I can convince the NCR to. But at the very least, I can disarm those uh, those uh, bombs. Any other questions? Uh, what's the best way to reach you once we escape? Good. Um, now, you're in the middle of a desert. I recommend once you're out of the prison, if you head directly north, you should reach uh, the uh, uh, the f uh, Fort Eridesh, which will have a radio tower there. If you can get that working, you should be able to communicate with me more re reliably, and then I can direct you to Boulder Dome. It will be a little bit of a trek as you have to go through Denver City, but... I'm sure you can work that out. You've got two rangers, a super mutant, and a follower, so rather confident you guys should be able to, to reach me, even if it's by foot, if not by vehicle. So just r r r r r remember, go north once you leave the the, the prison. Going north, okay. You can remember, Yoko. I believe I I in you. North is up. Yes, north is up. All right. I. Any other any 
something else, as I'm definitely nearly out of radio channels. This will be the last time you'll hear from me until you reach Fort er Eridesh. think we know what we're going to do. Good. Get out. Get to Fort Eridesh. We'll continue from there. I've updated your pit boys with your current ob objective list. Check your quest, your quest log. You should be able to see it. Best of luck, prisoners. And the radio falls to Sarek. All right. Find your shit. Love that. Survive <laughs> and get out. <laughs> Rewards. Freedom. Mm hmm. Very good. Actually, here, hold on. Let me add another re reward. Level 2. There you go. And since Ben has found the guide bot, I will. There's an optional objective to reprogram it. Okay, cool, cool. So, what are you guys doing? What the. Given my skills with technology, would I be able to reprogram it without plugging something into it or? Uh, it would be very difficult. Miranda, you had a question? So with the turret mm -hmm. thing, like, if we get out of ourselves, will that start aiming at us? It hasn't aimed at uh, Ben yet. Okay. Moving out can, with shifty eyes. Can Trust. can I push the bot? Oh, the bot. Mm -hmm. It's a okay, gonna... pretty big, but probably. It's just hovering there, right? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna try to push it. Actually, wait. Uh, actually, yeah. Hold on. I just realized that. Of us. Uh... Okay. Yep. Okay. So you want to uh, to push it? Yes. I just realized from my editing, I had put the world on daytime mode, and I hadn't turned it back to. Uh, to dark time mode. Alright. Ben, make a strength check. You heave into it and it hovers a little bit. So these doors are open. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. You can leave. Well, also, you guys can turn your pit boy lights on to give you more light, if you want. Can you do that? Unfortunately, currently, you have to tell me, because the hotkey I <laughs> set up uh, broke when I swapped character sheets, so I will fix it for next session. Well, this is our gang of escapees, is it? You all I eat no, each I'm... other. Beth, I'm going to try to hack it. Okay. Make Just technology? Technology check, yep. That's a pretty good technology check. Oh, I suppose I'll get the pit boy from this uh, dead dead person over here, so we don't blow up. Oh, the uh, he's, he's a cannibal, isn't he? Yeah, he's, he's a cannibal, and the prisoner that was in in the cell has been turned to mincemeat, and his prison boy is uh, in pieces. That's oh, been deactivated. Boy. There we go then. Uh, um, I'm gonna uh, try to make a strength check to blow. Uh, sorry, blow up. dig through this rubble. Mm -hmm. Rest in peace to the good captain. Go for it. Meanwhile. Oh shit! Actually, my strength is shit. Damn. <laughs> yeah, you're a super mutant with bad strength. Meanwhile, Ben, <laughs> the guy bot reactivates. It's still badly damaged, but it is now friendly to you guys, at least temporarily. Hey, that means it won't zap me. Mm-hmm. What's through the door? It's Can locked. I ask it to take us to the armory? It looks at you and it goes mm -hmm. and it starts hovering over towards the the, the locked door. And it yeah, I look at these two and ask where, where where is um where, where's the big one? Boop, 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 boop. 
Meanwhile, Yoko, you start shoveling and pushing rocks to the side, and the rubble pile grows smaller to the point of you can hear the sounds louder. You hear the sounds of gunfire and lasers outside, and you see out into pitch black night. You see the occasional flash of action and movement, and you see you're about a hundred feet up. Hundred feet up. Mm-hmm. With like a sheer drop down. Yep, it's a sheer straight drop down. Ugh. Okay, we need some rope. Do the beds have any bed sheets on them? Most of the beds have sleeping bags. Yes. Okay, well we can use them. Where's the big one? Yoko! Also, Yoko! Miranda, you wanted to increase yeah. your your light, right? Uh, sure. Okay. Oh god, I need to turn that down. And Miranda, you wanted your light to be green, right? Did I? Like your pit boy. Sure. Yeah, there you go. Oh, Yoko, this, this pod will take us out. We don't have to, go, <laughs> we don't have to try to climb out. Does this mean I not be stealthy? Yes, there. I turned down the color intensity some. I turned it down okay. too much. Hold on. We turned it up some. I had all this automated, but Obsidian broke it. There we go. You guys proceed down the hallway. And follow my, my guide your bot. Side, it says a... screen, says guard office and armory. Yep. And the door is heavily sealed. And then to your your right, the hallway opens up into what appears to be a cafeteria with flickering lights. And a police bot. Uh, obviously looks like this place was designed before robots and automation. The building Winter shakes around. again as you hear a distant explosion. Hi right, bot, well, can you open this door for us? I recommend we get our stuff and get out of here post haste. The eyebot kind of shakes its head. The eyebot flashes on its little screen, invalid lid security clearance. Is it possible to hack our local arsony expert? The terminal? Uh, you, you can hack. It'll be a very high DC. You do have an advantage because of your special bit boy. I roll technology with advantage. Otherwise, you'll have to find a key. Would you say technology? Mm-hmm. With advantage, yep. Damn, that's a natural 20. <sighs> Unfortunately, you don't have to get the, the key. Let me just uh, move that. <laughs> Uh, objective. Let's say get a key to the armory. Reveal that and just um and just complete it. All right. <laughs> well, you did say with advantage. Well, yeah, because you've got to advance, that boy. All right. Which was from her background. BT dub. The door unseals, revealing a large metal, metal-looking office room. What can be seen in the office room? See two desks, some rugs, some lockers, and two other locked doors. Do we see our stuff? No. What's wow. in the lockers? You find that the lockers are filled with orange and grey looking jumpsuits. That are a little bit tattered and worn out. And there's a I'm few things, in. like some r wrenches. At the desks, are any of the computers working? Uh, yes. The, ki the, the This one is one to your left. Not that I'm entirely enthused to see Ryan back with a weapon of mass destruction, but we would all be served better if we had our gear back. It's fine, just don't give me something fully automatic or explosive. Yes, that that was the concern. I'm gonna try hack the computer. Mm-hmm. 
I'm gonna poke this computer. Is it? It's not a computer. It's a typewriter. Well, that's very useful, isn't it? Very. Meanwhile, Ryan. What about our resident larceny expert? Any luck on getting through these doors, Miss Ivy? Can I? Is it something that can be picked? Uh, these are locked by an old-fashioned key. You can mm. try picking it, yes. Which would be a sleight of hand. Or you can try mechanics if you're so inclined. It would just be harder with me mechanics than it will be with sleight of hand. I'll try sleight of hand on this one. Okay. Meanwhile, Ben, you have to... Be oh my god, another... <laughs> Wait, did both of you get critical su successes? Just ignore the second one, I think. Well, because that was... Alright. Next thing, roll two. Alright, I take the first result. Okay. Meanwhile, I'll do Ben first. Ben, you have the <laughs> security console, finding that it's filled with, um, with information about, um, you guys, and your former cellmate, the NCR Captain John. And just some basic information about this level. If you have any questions about information, may ask them. Does it give directions to the nearest stairwell? This prison does not have stairs, as stairs encourage people to break out. There is elevator. What's the whole point of that cafeteria, then, if we never even yeah. went to there? No, so this prison appears to have been built about 50 years before the Great War. And that's and it wasn't originally set up like how it currently is. So the cafeteria was for back then. Can I override the lockdown on the elevator from here? Uh, you cannot, as this is more of an office or clerk computer, not a security one. Mm. Meanwhile, uh, both of you two unlock your doors revealing ivy you see what looks like a little maintenance and workshop area with a whole bunch of different crafting uh benches and uh a bunch of power generators mm -hmm. meanwhile yoko you find what looks like the armory you see a few handguns you see some ammo some ammo boxes and you see in in, in the far corner on the desk your katana Hey, ping ping. I want to get that. And maybe a gun. I mean, I don't have our gear, do we? No. <laughs> you guys have your armor. I would but... like my gear. Are our companions in here? Isn't no, but, the... two, but there are two other locked. Two other locked doors. Mm hmm. One to the left and I'll one to the top. Try tower. and start up in this one. Mm hmm. I'll try the other one. I have a feeling my luck's gonna run out real soon, though. This, what were these weapons again? There is. Up or not. There, there is. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> Miranda. <laughs> so you open your doors. You both chose <laughs> correctly Aww. to find your companions. Yoko Pooch comes running over and he jumps into your arms and he starts licking your chin. <laughs> pooch, pooch. <laughs> Meanwhile, oh, Miranda, God. you go in to f to find you uh to find Reggie has been deactivated. And you turn him him back on and he very happily begins hovering up. And he says, says My word Miss Ivy, I've been looking for you everywhere. Do you know where we are? I believe we're in a, in a prison somehow. I don't know the full story, but we're trying to break out, and it would be awesome to have you help us. <laughs> of course, Miss Ivy, anything for you. I'll have at them, and he starts activating his buzzsaw. Anyways, up here, there is two, there are three pistols, two laser pistols, and one pre-war 10 millimeter. I'm gonna grab one of the laser pistols. Right. What was what was the option before the laser pistols? A pre-war ten m millimeter. 
Okay, so it's laser pistols or 10 millimeter. Yep. Uh, I'll grab one of both. There are only three oh. handguns here. I thought you said two and uh, two, 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 and two laser pistols, up. one 10 mil. Yep. Well, if he's grabbing, if Ryan's grabbing one of the laser yeah. pistols, I'll yeah. grab the other two. Yeah. And Ivy gets nothing. Oh, I'll pass one to her. I'll pass one to her. Okay. Why thank you? Which also, one are you passing? Is, is there a gun over here that I see? That is the That's second the laser third. gun. Oh. That's the third gun turtle. Yeah. That's the one he Which just one? grabbed. Do you prefer electric based weaponry or the old projectile, Miss Ivy? I'll go, I'll go with the laser gun, please. I'll pass her the laser gun holster first. All right laser pistol and I'll give Jimmy May. three war ten millimeter mm, Jimmy also said I think um my katana isn't set correctly to dexterity is it not it's at a minus two which is what my strength is hold on I set these things to dexterity I am disappointed I blame obsidian character sheet damn obsidian One second while I fix this. Sorry. Yeah, I should probably ask, do we find any ammo with all of this? Yep. So you guys have enough. So for this first session, I'm not going to introduce to you guys my ammo mechanic. So you guys don't have to worry for this session. Quick, shoot all the guns all the time. <laughs> Nothing but gun shooting. Please. You know what was down here again? Do not disappoint me. It's a little crafting area and... um. It's like a power suit station thing, maybe. Mm hmm. Anything of use in here now for a current situation? Please. Your current situation, you find that there are many tools and crafting things, but nothing terribly that jumps out at you as something that you need right now. Okay. That should be good to deal with the cafeteria then. Guess so. Unless any of you see where the elevator shafts are. At the end of the hole. We got our gear. Might as well get going before the explosions get to uh precisely. I love the text that you've got by the just by different things you move your mouse over. I'm happy yeah. that people appreciate it. So, you guys enter the cafeteria. Yoko. Yoko, come. <laughs> you hear the occasional sound of laser fire from the Protectron as it fires out a hole in the side of the, the building, firing down, and you hear him, but suddenly he stops and he turns to your guys' direction, and he calls out, Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens have nothing to fear. Please step into the open and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens elevator. have nothing to fear. He approaches. What are you guys doing as he approaches? Mm. I'm ready in my pistol. Metal man. Shoot first or sh get shot at first? Prisoners detected. Prisoners what? armed. Prisoners lay down weapons and return to your cells. Can I fire first? <laughs> so you guys want to engage in combat? One more we want. Go for this initiatives. Yep. Oh, 
cool. It's a... a fast acting robot. Michael, going to roll yours? Uh, I'm trying to find the button. I'm going to set a uh, pooch on the initiative order as your second personality as um, mm -hmm. that way we're not duplicating your token, but pooch will just act on your first turn. Okay. I was clicking the number, not the... <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Michael. Don't worry about it. These things happen. Alright, then. So, as you move towards the Protectron, it raises its arm cannon. And let us begin combat, then. Jimmy. You're up first. Jimmy. All right. Well, I better get my into firing position. Got a walking speed of 30. So on your turn, instead of having an action and a movement, you have three actions and you can turn an action into a movement. Like, I like or you, you can just, just sit there and do three attacks or whatever combination you, you want. Because the Pathfinder stuff. Uh, yep. Give okay. an attack at that robot. Perfect. Jimmy moves within range. M makes a shot with his pre-war 10mm, which I do have animations for, but I, 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 again, they will be fixed for next week. The shot flies out, and that is a good, strong hit. Plink. Oh, 10 damage. Jeez. The shot buries itself in the hull of the Protectron digging into its armored plating. The Pro Protectron doubles over a little bit and then rises back up. Law abiding citizens not detected, initiating murder mode. I'm assuming an 8 does not hit. An 8 does not hit. You miss. Oh, that's me. That's you. That's me. Alright, next turn. Next up is the police bot. The police bot looks at you, Yoko, and it, and it raises its security claws and it swings. Claw. <sighs> Obsidian broke its claw attack. Why is it not rolling? Why does nothing work? Manually roll it. Yeah, I'll make it roll it. Oh my god. I think there's a lot more working that isn't working. I think an 18 hits. Doesn't it, Phil? Uh, most likely, yeah. I would say so. AC is 14. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Excuse me. There you go. The claws swing and they scrape into your, your side. You take. Take five points of damage. Damn. It then swings its claws at you again. That is a, a miss. So miss. And as its final action, it is going to radio for assistance. Mm -hmm. So, Phil, your second personality, I think, it is up first. Uh, that's Pooch. Yeah, so that'll mm -hmm. be the chaotic one. Um, okay. So he would be very angry that he's been in hits, so he's going to attack. You loco. Is my guitar still set to minus two? No, it should be fixed. Wait, oh, okay, never mind, hold on. I fixed it in the... Wait, no, it is fixed, why is it... What? That's crazy. It's still going by strength. No, I changed it to... It literally says dexterity on my screen. Well, might need to refresh it. Uh, maybe I should close it and then... Oh, no, that's weird, it's still set to minus two. Well, I can just manually calculate it, so that'd be good to do. So it was be... a 17. I got a plus four. 
My dex. 19. 19, very good. You swing your katana at it, and that's a hit. Uh, damage? Mm-hmm. That's a weird thing, on my dice. Ugh. You swing at it with your katana and you cut into it. Okay. Very cool. You want to swing more? How come there's two damage things here? How's, it, how's that work? Because one's the uh, crit, and if you had had critted, it just automatically rolls damage with obsidian. Oh, wait. Am I having to roll again with my hit? Yeah. Sorry. Oh, cool. So that'd be hit. Mm -hmm. That's another hit. Mm -hmm. Swing your katana into it again. Your katana is having a hard time cutting through its armor, but you are cutting or hacking off pieces of it. For the third action, I will wipe it again, which is a miss. I would imagine. Yes. You swing at it for a third time, but its arm catches your blade. Prisoner um, is rebelling. Uh, what about Pooch? How does Pooch work? So Pooch goes on your turn. Yep. So Pooch uses an action to move up, and then Pooch goes in for some bites, I take it. Yeah, uh, do I have a, a sheet for him, or is it a sheet you roll? yes. Okay, hang on. To be under companions, under prisoners. Ah, yeah, found it. Pooch, pooch. Seven, I assume misses. That is a miss, unfortunately. That will be a hit. A hit. Mm -hmm, that is definitely a hit. I roll damage, but it's not letting me. <laughs> Death is about to commit seppuku because obsidian mm. has ruined everything. 2d10 plus 6. I actually be that high. Plus 6. Is that correct? No, no, it should be 2d4. Oh, okay. That's fine. Pooch runs up and he bites into the mech. Oh, that's good. The Protectron's leg is pulled off by Pooch, and the Protectron starts popping. Pooch can attack once more. Very good, very good. That is a miss. Miss. Alright, moving on. Miss Ivy, you're up. Question. Mm -hmm. With my pit boy, yep. will it have the bed medics in it? Or is yes. it being removed? Yes. Because we should take that, otherwise, I'm going to have the disadvantage. Mm hmm. Okay, so is that being action? Uh, no, because it is inside your. Pit boy, you can do it automatically on your turn. Okay. How many you have doses? Five, you have five doses. Okay. I will use one. Alright. And. Your pit boy automatically injects you with your medics. And then. Uh, yes. What would be within range to shoot? Like, how far? Um, I'm. Would have to move the wrong one. Um, I pulled a Ben and I did the measurement circle. Um, I'm pretty certain with the laser gun, laser pistol, the range is one twenty according to twenty mine. feet. Yeah, so you can hit it from there. But if I miss, then will it because of my where I am and who I'm shooting through? Uh, yes, miss? if you miss, you have a chance of hitting either Yoko or Pooch. How far can I move in a turn? You can move, you have three actions, and you can turn an action into a movement to move your usual 30. You can technically move 90 if you were to use all of your actions. 
Warp 60, oh, if you use the two. I'm gonna go back where I was. Sorry, just trying to work out where I can... Mm -hmm. I don't... Mm. I'll go down. Okay, you move up. And I'm um, gonna shoot. Okay, go for it. What do I... Oh, wait. Click on laser pistol? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. No. <laughs> no, that is a miss. I try again for my last turn. Mm-hmm. For your second action, go for it. Technically third, because I moved. Yep. That is a hit. You may roll damage. Well, damage perfect. The shot rings out and it hits the police bot center mass. The police bot explodes, falls to the ground dead. All right, finished. Mm -hmm. Good luck, guys. Let's see, everyone gets their forty XP. XP. How do you do that? Do you click add experience? It should have. Oh, did it not go okay. automatically? No, it might. I don't know. It just has the option to add. And then, uh. uh if I go to. Mine has popped out. It did not add automatically. So. Mm. Might be. Might be because it's popped out. Uh, where would you see the experience? No, I just should just check the DNA. Guys, hold on. Let me. Okay, let thing. me try. There we go. Oh, yeah, I, mean, I click add and added it. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. 40, right? Yeah, it was 40. Added. Yep. Very good. Perfect. That's very cool. I like very that. Cool. And that's what's got a little bar. Mm hmm. I am sorry. Most of these these issues rounding will, will be fixed when I stop off of Obsidian. Anyways, guys, move up. And you leave the, the little exercise area behind to find some bathrooms. Find this is a broken window over here as well, right? Mm -hmm. There is a broken window. You can hear yeah. the sounds of, of combat and you see a little bit of moonlight streaming through. And you look out down the 100 foot, foot drop to the ground. Oi, oi, oi. Now, the professor said we could get out through the sewers, but how would we do that? Good question. Jimmy. We might have to go outside. Jimmy. Yes? How are we doing this? I'm not the expert at breaking out of prison. Can't say it's what? been a skill I've needed to acquire thus far. You said something about like the sewer, mm -hmm. like going out through the sewer line, so maybe where the pipes go or. The grates that we're standing on, can they be lifted up? Uh, they seem pretty firmly attached, at least these ones do. Hmm. Did you see anything down there? There's the kitchen down there. I'm just going to look around and see if I see any that look like they're partially sticking out. Mm -hmm. Another loud shake. You hear the sounds of the elevator begin to rise. We're on the 13th floor, yes? Yes. What about, like, there might be a trash. sort of, like, perception check? Mm-hmm. You make a perception check. Wait, can Reggie do a perception check? Because he's got three eyes. Of course, Miss Ivy. Okay. Let's first see. Where's his ability? Um, Wait. Skills, uh, hold on. Let me add a perception for a reason. Equipment. Buzzsaw. Oh, there you go. Perceptions there. So if you click uh, advantage and then click it. 
get advantage in. Oh, it was so close to another 20. All right. As uh, Reggie looks around, he says, Ah, ma'am, by the bathtub here. There seems to be some extra rusted tiles. I can, like, go over to it and... Oh, how do I deselect? Over here, ma'am. Hovers over it. I can, like, pry it out? It looks like it, it would, would, would take lots of strength, ma'am. I'll just, like, call Yoko over. <laughs> Yoko's strong, right, guys? No, uh, definitely. <laughs> I'm gonna make a perception check over here and see if there's a trash chute that would be easier to slide mm -hmm. down. Damn, Jimmy made a good perception check. Uh, there is a, a trash chute. It's pretty clog clogged up. It's connected to the dumpster out front of the kitchen. But you could potentially slide down it. It'd just be uh, a little bit rough. Well, I'll keep that as an open opportunity. If we can't get a good escape out here. I also think that we can strap the sleeping bags together and make a bit of rope to go out the window. Would they that be might, enough? That might make a um, big target for us, uh, on us. It could work. It could work, then. Well... Oh, wait, where was this rusty, pan rusty panel? I'll see if I can... The top left panel in the bathtub. Jimmy! Here I Jimmy! come. Jimmy! Make the rangers do all the work. Aren't you supposed to be the one with the muscle? Give me a hand here. Oh, that's Only like three of us that try and lift it up. I mean, three of you somewhere. can. Yeah. You guys, just that's make strength, strength checks. Check. Mm -hmm. Why did I agree to this? I'm not strong. Between the three of you, mostly Ryan, you guys start prying it open. You get it about a third of the way open when you hear down from the hallway that connects to the elevator the sounds of some gunshots and the exploding sound of an iBot. iBot we talk to? Mm-hmm. Uh-oh. You hear someone call out, Hello? Anyone here? Get with Yoko. Sound like just one person or a lot of people? Sounds like uh, one person. Okay. I think we should get going if we can. Start prying the vent. It's about big enough for you guys to squeeze down, but the robot and Yoko definitely won't. Mm. And we can't pry open any other ones? You, ca uh, you can pry it uh, more open, but it'll take time because you're physically bending the metal back. Well, there is a trash chute as well. We could go down this way and. I mean, do you want to go see if that's if that's going to be a problem, hey, Jimmy? I'll continue on trying on this for a moment. Sure. Although, if we exit separately, maybe that will set off the pip boys. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm meaning that voice. If you want to go check if that's a problem. Oh, I'll see if I can get this open anymore with Yoko and the uh, bot. I'll give you three guesses. Do you think it's a problem? I'll give you three shots to tell me it's not. Oh, looky what we've got here. Some prime super mutant and a, a ranger. Here I thought we ate all y'all. You must not be from Texas. <laughs> You'll find no food here today. So best ye be going on your way and turning yourself around. No food here. I think there's plenty of food here. We gotta stock up before we head north, you see. 
and the father says there's plenty of fresh meat locked up in here. And blessed be he led us to you. That's at the guy who's talking. That's the <laughs> uh, the uh, front one. You raise yeah. your handgun and fire. The shot uh, pounces off of their armor. Ooh, got a spry one here. I was hoping for some NCR dogs to eat as they're so nice and pure. But I'll settle for another ranger. Like I said, you'll find no food here today. So unless you want to be eating your kin, I suggest you mosey along back down to check out another level. How about this, super mutant? Your meat ain't as tasty as theirs. You want to be blessed by our father? Mm. Human talk too much. Human talk just enough. Don't you worry, we'll cook you up good with some salt. Is he still talking? He's still talking. He he draws. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you you raise your gun. You point it at it. And just as you fire, you hear the click of the gun jamming. The figure stands up and, um, and straight and starts laughing. Um, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Net one. Net one. Yeah. Within, I'm pretty sure, 120 oh. feet of me. Oh, Jimmy, your your pre-war 10 millimeter pulls apart. Oh. Well, that's 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 nice. Um. <sighs> Looks like even your gun abandons you, Wester. Don't worry. We'll take good care of you. He, raise, he raises his uh, rifle and points it at you. And just as he goes oh, to fire, there's... Cover. You take cover. Yep. One Sorry, second. Michael. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've forgotten what my look thing is because I can't find out my character sheet so you know I think if you you crit succeed it's a you roll again yeah sure it only happens on a crit succeed yeah it might be on a crit fail as well but my one means you get the worst outcome so mm -hmm. all right yeah Mike. yeah Michael we should have made you roll multiple more but then again it, it, it's already the worst outcome because Ben's here so Anyways, as the, the bandit raises their oh, rifle perfect. to fire, a blast of fire comes screeching from behind, and the ban and the child of the day is melted into a into a puddle of goo. Not automatically happened because obsidian's broken. And you hear a clunking sound from behind them, and suddenly the children of tomorrow turn. And to see a giant mutant robot walking into the the room. You guys can't see it, but it begins moving up and it broadcasts in a robotic voice. My prisoners will not be eaten by you, cannibals. And they turn to start fighting the machine. Meanwhile, Ryan, you're really struggling to make that <laughs> hole any, any bigger. What do you guys want to, to do? Well, discretion is the best point of valor, so uh, if you could hurry up a little bit, uh, it would be Sit. helpful. Sit. Mm hmm. Brute strength and ignorance isn't working, so I'm going to use my, my next best skill. Uh huh. <laughs> You're going to start shoot, shooting it? Okay. Ivy, you watch as Ben starts emptying laser rounds into the metal, oh. the metal grating, melting it, yes? Reggie, saw. Yeah, Reggie has a buzzsaw. Has a buzz buzzsaw, <laughs> why didn't I think of that? Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay, Reggie moves up and starts buzzsawing, so between the two of you it's gonna go a little bit faster. Meanwhile, Yoko, two of the, the cultists charge at you guys. You guys wanna roll? Yeah, let's see. 
initiative order while those three are trying to dig their hole. Okay. As the robot is distracted by other cultists. This, these two are charging at you guys. Michael, do you want to roll initiative? Yes, if I can find where my character sheet has gone. It's been hidden in one of my fucking files of tabs. Too many tabs, huh? Yeah. No, wait, no, I think I closed it. That's why I can't find it. <laughs> Anytime, Michael. That makes much more sense. That is Wasteland. Uh, soundtrack. Got going. Mm hmm. Good job, Jimmy. Jimmy, you're up. Anybody got a gun? <laughs> Not with an easy, easy reach, no. I have a club. I'll Come let on. you keep that club. What are you gonna do, Mr. Ranger? <sighs> Well, I'll get my fists ready in case somebody walks around the corner. Okay. You hold your actions for in case someone comes around the corner. Alright, yep. up next. Pooch, you're up. Is that Pooch and me? Yes. Sorry, Pooch yeah, and cool. the and the first year. Also, I just remembered I had the um, Boon Bang uh, Brazen, so mm -hmm. should get some bonuses to attack yep. that. I've been, I've been counting that personally, but I it's not oh, cool. working on the character sheet, but yes. Yeah, I was just double checking, because I yeah. forgot about it. You and allies within 30 feet of you. Sweet. Um, so is it just these two that have uh, rolled initiative? Mm -hmm. The rest are dealing yep. with the warden. Okay, cool. Yep, the other four are dealing with the warden. Sweet. Um, which one looks more dangerous, do you think? Which one has equipped items? So, well, the one on the right has a pipe gun, and the one on the left, left has a, a very rusted 10 millimeter pistol. Hmm. Okay. Well, I'm just gonna go for the pipe gun, man. Perfect. So I'll move up, and I will whack him. Mm-hmm. Give him a good whacking. Whacker, whacker. That is. Even with, actually, with your benefits, that is a hit. You slice into him. Oof. You slice into him, cutting him down. Oh, was he really dead? Mm-hmm. Oh, that was easy. I was expecting more. Um, well, then I'll just move over to this dude. And get ready. Very good. Let's see. Yep. With your Slayer, Boon and Bane, after you kill someone, you do get a minor action, which you can use to move five feet. So if you want, you still have an action. Sweet. All right. And um, Pooch also has one too, right? Mm-hmm. Yep, Pooch, that is a hit That's because it. of your brazen. Mm -hmm. It's 2d4. It, I think it should roll if I if it up if it fixed when I updated it. If it didn't, then I'll be very disappointed. Mm -hmm. nope. damage, it doesn't roll. To. I don't understand why me manually updating things are not actually updating things. It's okay. <sighs> Easy fix, Seth. Just Get rid manual of rolls. Mm. Well, yes. Yes, yes. Yep, that that's next. a hit and Pooch bites through it, killing it. Mm -hmm. Wow, they have no help. They are, uh, they are cannibal cultists. Totals crubs. They are first, mm -hmm. the first session cannibal cultists, Phil. Mm -hmm. Pooch bites through his, his chest, and as you, you watch, you see that the, that Argos, the prison warden who has vaporizing them, suddenly freezes in place and stops moving and the the cultists look around and alarm and then they all turn and look towards you you two Ooh, that's bad. 
Oh, they all rolled terribly anyways. All right. So bad. Moving on then. Yoko. This is your other personality. My crazy personality. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, he's going to have no disparate regard for there being a lot more than he expected. So he's just going to charge in. Okay. Go for it. Uh, where's the leader? The leader's dead. The leader got melted by uh, Argos. Very good. Very Meanwhile, good. That's what we want. Ryan, Ivy, and Reggie, each of you make one roll to try to get the hatch open. What are we rolling? Oh, Reggie's making a um, a buzzsaw attack. Okay. Ryan's shooting it with his laser gun. Ivy, do you want to shoot it with your laser gun too? Ow. Yeah. Oh no, <laughs> Ryan. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they had advantage, I'm sorry. That's fine, I'll just say the first res result. And then what was I rolling? If you want, you can join in shooting with the, the laser gun. Okay. No. Oh my god. That's really, that's not good. Um, no, yeah. that's really, really bad. <laughs> bad. Does most... it disintegrate as well? Both Steve? of your laser guns not only disintegrate, they explode in your hands at the same time. You each take 10 points of damage and your laser guns are gone. I guess the killing is on me then. Are you changing the health? health? Um, oh, oh, there we go. Change it to 25. Ben, are you regretting oh, wait, Isn't my damage reduced because of my. Oh, yeah, yeah. because you're mid, mid X, so take 5 damage instead of uh, 10. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes, but at the same time, sometimes not. Also, Ben, you have a damage reduction of 5 because of your boon. So that sh uh, you should. Oh, uh, uh, yeah. Perfect. Alright. So, mean meanwhile, Yoko, you hear the sound of exploding laser guns back in uh, the well, room behind you. This is Loco, so he doesn't give a shit. Um, he's just going to yep. keep slaying. Okay, go I for also it. rolled 1d10 because I think I get healed when I kill mm -hmm. someone. You do. Alright. Yep. Very cool. So I'm at full hit points now. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to whack this guy. Go for it. That's a miss. Actually, wait, with your plus five, let me just check his AC. Uh, that is a hit, actually. Okay, so it'll be 15. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Am I calculating that same as you? Yep. Oh, cool. Give him a cheeky whack. All right, perfect. You cut him down. Hit. So do I get a minor action or an action yep. point when I kill someone? Yep, you get a minor action, which is effectively half an action, and you can turn two minor actions into an action. With gotcha. a minor action, you, you can move five feet without provoking opportunity attacks, or you can do a quick attack, which is you make an attack roll without your attribute bonus to the damage. Gotcha. Okay, cool. All right, well, um, let me go for this guy to my right. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Hello. To whack as well. Mm -hmm. For some reason, that has rolled two, two things. Good to know. That's a hit. Um, good. That is not actually lethal. Ooh, actually, not wait. lethal. actually, wait, sorry. No, that should be eight. No, no. That is lethal. Never mind. <laughs> okay. Is that the one to plus five? It's lethal. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Right, okay. Well, oh, you really dead. are killing them, aren't you? <laughs> you guys hear from behind you a roar of anger as this mad super mutant with the kat katana just runs around slicing Colthus in half. <laughs> Where did he get uh, the katana? It was my katana, it was in the armory. The katana? I, I always had the katana, it's my katana. It's his family's katana, Michael. It brings much honor. Okay, uh, so I have one action. No, mm -hmm. wait. Do I? So you yeah, because I killed two people. One action move, one action kill, minor action move, action kill. Yeah, you have. One action? Mm hmm. Okay, cool. Um, well, I guess I'll just move up to this guy because I can't actually go back in. Yep, perfect. Alright, that's that. Moving on. So, meanwhile, back in the uh, bathroom, both of your laser pistols explode, and both of you just kind of assume it's because they were ancient. You know, they were pre-war. 
You guys take some damage. Meanwhile, Reggie takes his buzzsaw and he just cuts the metal grating off. And you guys pull the metal grating completely off, revealing a hole large enough for the super mutant and Reggie. Looks like it's a slightly inclined drop down the into the sewer. Oh my, Miss Ivy, I'm not certain we want to go down there. It smells worse than where we used to live. Since when do you have a nose, Reggie? I have, have all sorts of senses. It's how I sense when it's time when when the bacon is well cooked, Mom. Fair point. Guys, with, time to with, go. Bring some and with, guns. And with me, the bacon's always well cooked. And he kind of flashes his flamer. <laughs> Thirsty. All right. All right. So you guys are ready to leave. Mm -hmm. Continue the combat out, out here. This uh, this child over here, the child of the cloth, cries out, out. He's insane. He's absolutely fucking insane. Father, give me strength as I avenge my brothers and sisters. He raises his his pipe gun and he points it at you, Phil. You can try. Can try. Yeah, they're so close to a natural 20. natural <laughs> twenty, man. I was watching that too, yeah. It's a miss. And he fires yeah. it again. Oh my god. That's a miss. Fires the leafy final time. That's a hit. A shot buries itself in you for oh right. I'm scared. They're not rolling properly. You take six points of damage. Oh, Alright, moving on, let's see. Uh, that one's dead. This one it isn't dead. Oh my god, he's tr He's insane! Get away from me! He tries uh, backing up so you get an opportunity. Uh, uh, yeah. He's mm -hmm. panicking. That is a miss. Oof. And with all of your bonuses, that is still a miss. That's okay. Maybe he fires so. at you as he backs up with his laser pistol. Oh! Ooh, not 20, Ooh. is it? Yeah, not 20. Yeah. Yeah. What do you got? What do you got, bitch? There's a grand total of eight damage as the laser shot burns itself into your, your chest. That's okay. Then fires a second time. That is also good. Take eight damage again. <laughs> the two shots bury themselves into you. That's not very right. froggy chair. Not very pop. Next round, Michael, you're up. Right. Unfortunately, no one rushed you as they Nobody were rushed me. instead. So, I'm going to try and uh, reassemble my disassembled pistol. I mean, it's in literal dust. It's in literal dust? It's it's literally, like, d d it literally got, like, Thanos sapped. It's I was about to say that. <laughs> it's just... Poof. It didn't just fall to pieces that I no, can No, 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 it literally turned to, to dust, Michael. There, there, there is nothing recoverable. It's better not get attached to any, like, legendary weapons with a uh, Ben around. <laughs> Looking at the state of things, uh, when you're done, Yoko, we're, uh, leaving. Yoko can't hear you, he's in his crazy mode. But, uh, you know, we're, uh, how's, how's the escape route going? Like I said, bring some guns. I don't have guns. I have plenty of being fired. Do you guys want to start descending down the wait. the that's sewer good. shaft? No, we've got to wait for Yoko. Okay. But that's a good right. point. Maybe we should get the guns from out there. <laughs> Alright, Yoko. 
It's your turn. You and um, Pooch. What's the warden doing? Is he looking like he's still frozen? He seems to be stunned. The the robot's like wavering back and forth. Okay, cool. As long as he stays that way. Um, well, I'm gonna uh, resolve Pooch's stuff first. So mm -hmm. he's gonna go down for this guy here, which is yep. 25 feet. He can move 25 feet, right? Mm -hmm. He can move 40 feet. He's a dog. Okay. Oh, good doggy. He's in the completely and... wrong rule ruler tool, and I know it. Again. Hmm. And he said it was a Ben move. Well, it's a Seth the... move at this point. There's the actual ruler tool. I found it. <laughs> He's within 30 feet. Yep, he is within 30 feet. That is a hit. No, stay back, dog. Stay back. And 2d4. Yeah, that's a hit. No, that's uh that's a that's a dead. Ah! He screams as Pucha bites him. And I'll just bonsai charge this guy. Okay. If it will let me move my token. Am I doing something wrong? Oh no, sorry, it's uh sorry. Oh right, oh no oh no, I understand why. Sorry, it's because um Go free movement. It's because in, in uh, combat, it automatically not lets you um, blocks you from moving things when it's not your turn. So uh, I forgot so that's a feature. Right, and it's pooch turn anyway. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, I sorted it. That's a miss. Second attack. Ten. Okay. Um, yep. That's a hit. Yeah, Preemptively be ready for lethal. Um, that'd be, yep, yep, that's lethal. You run up and you slice him in half. Roll one d two, and just to heal myself. Mhm. Mm I, I must say, mm -hmm. Phil, your raging barbarian build works, but you are you are very much playing it very dangerously since you nearly. Oh, died. definitely. Yeah, definitely. But I am by myself here, so <laughs> yeah, that's uh, that's a problem. Anyways, uh, cool. they're so... all, all dead, so I will end combat now. Very good. Let's see. Does Jimmy Thorpe deserve XP from that encounter? The real question. Well, he kind of just cowered in the corner, so. To be fair, his gun did explode. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't blame him, but there's not. Hey guys, uh, me, hey, J Jimmy, go check on Yoko. Oh. And try hey, to get us some guns if there's still a bit. Oh, you guys want experience too? Okay. Well, like yeah, we <laughs> pried open, you know, it's gonna count for something, right? Let's get some guns. He's very good at bartering, isn't he, Chipen? We completed a quest objective, Seth. Quest objectives because we XP. Mean, you guys are right. Are there any guns? <laughs> there are guns. I will take Thanks. the guns. <laughs> there you go. The guns. Thank you. Hey. Let's see. You guys are have found your shit. You've escaped your cells. You're not bypassing security door 13 and getting to the elevator because you guys don't need to. You found an another exit. All right, that's time to just get out. All right, Michael, you find on their corpses. Their corpses should automatically turn into loot bags, but they're not because of obsidian. Find, let's say, one, two laser guns, three pipe guns, and one t post-war ten millimeter. All right. Are there any medical things that I can use on myself? Uh, talk. They do not have penny. No. Of course, yeah, they have cannibals, why would they go? Yeah. You can Ooh, roll. Do they, do, do they have any, uh, do they have any, one? uh, stems? Uh, no. Uh -huh. If you want, you that? can ask, um, Ivy. You might hmm? be able to heal, heal you. Oh, my healing. <laughs> the guy who nearly died. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm, 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 like, half dead. But if you don't have anything, that's fine. 
doesn't have Probably any healing happen. supplies, but she can just use basic first dope. Anyways, so you guys all wanted to send down the hatch then? Mm-hmm. Yep. Yeah. Alright, you all go over to oh. the sewer, and you descend down the hatch. The hatch oh. slides underneath you, You and the sewers await. You splash down into the wet sewers, begin to navigate your way out, away from the prison as the sounds of combat fade into the, the distance. The explosions disappear. Alright, well you guys kind of speed ran getting out of the prison there. I'm sure you had many other plans for us. Potentially. I thought you guys would do more stuff in the cafeteria. <laughs> we did stuff. We'll take the elevator. What would we did we stuff in the things. Uh, more cannibals. Uh, of course, of course. Mm -hmm. They would have died. Yep. Okay. More fighting for Phil. As the rest of us kind of just hide. Let's see, good job, you guys escaped cell block 13A. I survived and got out. So we're in the sewers now, or we have actually escaped it entirely? So you guys get into the sewers, and you find it's a pretty easy process of just following oh, them yeah. in, until you get to a manhole, and you get out, and you're out in the wasteland. Mm. Very cool. You guys oh. have completed escape cell block 13. And you're out of the Tibbets prison. Mm -hmm. In the distance, you see, you, you, you see the flashes of combat around the, the prison, and you see what looks like a large grouping of vehicles, a few, um, a few big trucks, and a bunch of smaller cars and motorcycles, vehicles with lights shining everywhere, and people watching as the, as the low-hanging cultists assault the, the prison. They're being shot at by automated turrets. I thought you were going to say you were going to give us XP. You guys, want, X you guys want XP? But we got out, isn't that the objective? To get to level reward, level 2? Oh, She's so got right. a point. Does She's have a point, point, doesn't she? <laughs> we, we, we could sit, sit at the edge just taking pot shots at them, going along and getting more XP, you know? Mm -hmm. Power mm -hmm. there. You guys go. Completing yeah. your quest, there's your XP. Can it be like MMO mechanics where we just have to like one hit them and then we get the XP for everybody? <laughs> everybody just sits to it, right? Uh -huh. <laughs> oh cool, that, it's level two. You guys okay. all reach okay. level two. <laughs> so with that, the prisoners have escaped with its prison facility, if at least temporarily. Next, their adventures will take them north to Fort Eridish, where they will begin to see what fate awaits them out in the wasteland of Colorado. Radiator Springs.